Now, this is a quick continuation from yesterday's video. It will help if you watch that first, but otherwise, uh, you can just continue here. Just going to show you a few charts here today. Oh, we had two really red days. Now, this is great for us at the start of the week. Now, I want you to just take a look at SPY's daily chart. Now, the SPY has never traded for a prolonged period below the bottom Bollinger Band. Never. Take a look at that, right? Now, the worst scenario we had was from here and here. And look at that. Once we went below the Bollinger Band, we had strong rebounds, right? And now we have passed through the bottom Bollinger Band right here. Now, I want you to look at the following dates. This one is on 24th of January. This one on the 24th of February. And today we're looking at the 25th of April. Now, what's so special about all these dates, right? We had very strong red days and we opened the market lower, right? The market sold off even lower before we met with very, very strong support. And we rallied all the way up. If I'm not wrong, we had a 20-point rally that day, right from the bottom, from midday. And take a look at the volume profile. We had 133 million selling the day before, and we had over 200 million volume the day after. Right, let's take a look at the 24th of February right here. Well, likewise, 133 million selling pressure day before and then we open lower now this was significantly lower right and we had over 200 million buying volume again right and all of them we were at the bottom of the bollinger band right here today we're opening below the bollinger band for sure pre-market we're already at 422 Okay, so what do you think we are going to do today? Now we had selling spike again, 133 million coincidence, maybe, right? We had selling spike right here. Now this one was maintained. This was just really strong selling pressure, uh, about 100, over 120 million, right? We have a buying spike right after, once we hit some form of critical support. Let's take a very quick look at uh, our RSI uh, back then. Uh, now this tick bar is was around this level here. Right, back then we were under 30. Uh, right now we are closing in at uh, 37. Now this RSI level here, as we shown, we could be oversold. Let's just do a very accurate representation here. We could be oversold. We could be. Right, take a look at VIX. I just want to show you a 30 minute chart on VIX. Now see how overheated the VIX is right now. It's just extremely overheated. Now there's one more thing I want to show just for members. I'll take a look at this. On 24th January, we bounced off 300. I'm going to add in 375. On 24th, we bounced off 375. So where do you think we will start bouncing off now? So I've added two levels here. Right, let's take a look. I've added 400, could be. Right, 400 is a very good level at 415 near 416. Uh, this is a very comfortable level, I think, if we do test here. Uh, we will definitely bounce right up. So I indicated this in our charts today. Right, this will be our orange level here at 416 orange 416 right here okay so this orange 416 here will be that level just to look out on top of all our other uh, major levels will we get there will there still be continued selling maybe uh, the next level that uh, we could be looking at here for that possible bounce we go back to 375 because 375 was previously where we bounced off once we open and take a look we are pre-market is right here now 422 okay and this level here is about 421.91 close to 422 pre-market we are opening almost right over here 
So I've also indicated this in our five minute chart right here, this orange level here. So orange 421 right here. Now I am certainly going to be betting on calls because if these support levels don't hold today, right, and we trade under the Bollinger for a prolonged period of time, these key supports do not hold then the US recession has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and what are the chances the Feds allow this to happen one week before FOMC? I'm not too sure about that, but my guess is extremely unlikely. So earnings season is also coming up and we have most of the large caps, most of them in the S&P 500, right? Let's just take a look at some of the large caps right here. Now Visa, now KO is here, well, Boeing is here. Not PayPal, Meta, or Amazon, Apple, obviously, or Twitter, maybe. Intel, this is huge. XOM and Chevron, right? Uh, well, we have very, very large. Well, 40 of you are looking into it as well. So we have very, very large earning reports coming up this week. So what does this mean for the market and S&P 500? Now, markets are manipulated. We all know that it's rigged, right? All this massive selling just before a major earnings season, uh, right before FOMC. We have one, one and a half weeks to FOMC. We are going to bounce back up, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm going to think. Do you think the Feds are going to allow us to have a US recession right before FOMC and major earnings season? Uh, the only reason is if the big banks have already offloaded their positions. And from what I know, right, there's only $17 billion that's out of the market so far. Not a big deal. It's not even good, big enough positions for one major bank. So I don't think we are heading down all the way. Now, but it's important that we just focus on the indices today. I'm not looking at uh, stocks individually. Uh, we will look at them when earnings season approach a little closer uh, because we know the market is rigged. So for example, if Microsoft earnings is on a Tuesday after hours, uh, what's gonna happen is that today and maybe a little bit tomorrow, there will be some manipulation. So it's better to buy on Tuesday if you're looking to play Microsoft for earnings. That's what I mean. But otherwise, focus your firepower on SPY. Maybe the queues today. Queues are not so straightforward because the NASDAQ has uh, went out completely of structure. The SPY is a little bit much easier to see structures like this. So I'll be looking to pay attention to SPY. So what I'm going to do today, it's very simple. I'll be looking at the early candles and see where do we head up. All right, I've indicated the two orange level, orange 422 here and orange 416 here. Now this two, I will be thinking we may have some form or reversal there for sure, All right? Maybe we start reversing right from the start, but you can't be too sure about that. So I will be very careful uh, to play calls right from the start. Now, if we miss it, uh, not a problem. Right, we can just catch up with it later. But I'll be a little bit cautious for uh, possible bull traps and then bear traps. Now, maybe we don't get the full reversal today, so we just have to be a little bit more cautious. Now, whatever it is, just practice good risk management. Uh, don't put your entire fortune on uh, betting on today. Right, The market is extremely rigged. I don't have a strong feeling about this yet because I personally do not think there's enough fear in the market. So maybe today we will induce more fear before we start to get a full rally again. Uh, so I will be a little bit more careful, but I'll be looking to play calls for sure, definitely today. So today let's just try to play the reversal, see what happens. Be careful of traps here today. I don't have such a great inclination to this yet. I, I personally do feel that the fear is just not strong enough. Um, but I'll be playing calls anyway, and I put in some very interesting levels that we can play that. Uh, if there's any time to play calls, it has to be today. All right, the RSI, right? We some form of overselling. We may sell a little bit more uh, so that this may get triggered, right? We take a look at the VIX, right? The VIX is just overheated right now, okay? Uh, we take a look at the SPY. We are also underneath uh, the Bollinger. We don't go underneath for extended period of time. But do notice that these two days, right, we did trade 
underneath for the entire day right for most of the entire day uh, so we may open lower and head down a little bit more lower right maybe to the 416 level i was talking about before we have a rally uh, so this is something i want to pay attention to uh, but otherwise you, know, you can take a look for yourself in your own charts right the bollinger band truly protects spies bottom ranges so it's quite i would say it's a good risk uh, management approach uh, to take your calls from here and we're looking into a strong earnings season this week right right before the week before fomc um, so i do not i personally do not think that we are going to have a recession just one week before fomc now that's just not good optics um so right that's what i'm going to be playing today so do trade safely let's start the week strong remember uh, risk management extremely important make sure you always have your stop loss and we will start the week strong for this week so thank you very much for watching see you closer to opening bell